Today is the day. This is the beginning of a new phase, a new era for the channel. I am dynoing the rotary Corvette behind me myself. There's nothing modified inside of it. We're gonna see if we can squeeze out at least 400 horsepower, and maybe if that is solid, go for even more. Due to U-Haul thinking I'm a morning person, I missed a call at 7 a.m. and ultimately missed my trailer reservation, causing me to now have to drive this car to the dyno. Too hot. Do not dyno ever in the middle of the day. There's a guy that stopped on the highway next oh, yeah. to me. He's, yeah. I was like, yeah, he's like, I just watched the video. This moment's for you, man. The oil system needs uh, a fan, needs ducting. I mean, you're picking up air right off that asphalt. The asphalt at minimum was 107 degrees. That's outside temp for this car. So it was at least that, so probably 130 degrees. So it's like, how much can you cool? Rob's alive, so th that's good. I have the biggest swamp ass ever. 30 minutes of driving in 105 degree weather. I don't think anything can prove the stoutness of this car more than that. We're gonna go check out the inside of Lucky 7 and get her ready for the dyno. Don't close my stubble. <laughs> <laughs> I'll edit it out. <laughs> We've got about 10 gallons in. That should really give us a solid amount of E85. It's time to use a reverse to do what reverse does best, which is reversing onto a dyno, showing all your flaws as a manual driver. <laughs> You're doing so good. No. Yeah, this is made for you know FDs, so <laughs> I don't I don't see why the door would, would be a problem. You know, this is just an American That's FD. Right. <laughs> what gear is one to one on this? Chris you know? and I just had a quick discussion that fourth gear on this being one to one, meaning that the speed that goes into the transmission is the same speed that comes out. We are going to go to fourth gear, hold it at 3,000 RPM and then make sure that the dyno synchronizes to the car so we know our correct RPM range as you see the dyno chart go off. You can do it also with spark pulse and extrapolate it from there, but from the dyno is pretty damn accurate when you know you're gearing 100%. And pass off to the GoPro. <laughs> oh, that's a function of the car. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's a, a sweet tea. 3,000 RPM. Will do. Second gear. Release the brake. Yep. Then when you want to start recording, hit green. So when you hit green, see if flash is that's yep. recording. Okay. And then when you're about to end the pool, hit green to stop recording. And then brake. Says service ABS because the rears are spinning, the fronts are. We're gonna go ahead and turn off the boost controller. Turn all these from 20% back down to zero. Hi, I'm Rob Dom, and this is Jackass. We got my boy on the ones and twos. That's right. <laughs> Here we go.
happy. We'll go ahead and add more fuel up here. We can add 2% to that area. We're taking some fuel out of this area because that was a little too heavy. A little rich in one area and really lean in the other, but you can see I actually had it ready. Yeah. Other than, like I said, right there, I cleaned up. It was too rich and too lean. It's 2% lean. Yeah. Take 3% out of this area. Yeah, I can see exactly that. I had a really rich area and then it kind of cleaned up towards the end. It's my first time I've seen both, you know? This is too funny though. First pull, 399, which is actually more power than the car made before. We just need to beat the torque number and that's the dream. Cleaning this area up considerably is gonna help at the current boost level. I just took tons of fuel out of that area. That was like 20% rich. Do you have an extra O2 bung anywhere? No? No, unless you have an exhaust. We do, it's just not as accurate. Just, put it on there? Yeah, okay. just that so way okay. you guys see something I might not see. All jokes aside, look at how bad the torque, <laughs> when I go super rich, look at how bad the torque goes. We're doing good, doing good, good. Nope, just kidding. That has nothing to do with other than my sheer amount of fuel I was putting in there as an insurance policy. That was my very first dyno pool. Me at the at the sticks, me doing the control. And oh my God, I didn't take the brake off at first. I started way too low of RPM. All of the things that a beginner would do, I did. And yet we still pulled out a 399, which is almost in honor of the 405 on the side of the car. It did make more horsepower than the LS on the very first test pull. Super pig rich, but we're gonna go for that torque number. That's the number that makes all the difference. So first dyno pull, showing my, the results of my tuning. I should have blown the car to pieces. I didn't. Stock block, stock apex seals. Bitch you on a burger, eat a burger. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so the car thinks 18 pounds of boost, even though I, was, I thought it was going higher. Stayed at 18 pounds of boost. Here we go for a second run. Got my McDonald's on here. I'm too excited to eat. <laughs> Take that off. <laughs> here we go. More consistently, it's still rich. What's the ethanol content at? Uh, 65. So over 50, it should be, you know, the same. We definitely gained where I lost before. Oh, we got almost close, 409. We're seeing cause and effect right there. I didn't really mess with this area too much. You can see I started to lean this area out. I want to get that nice, smooth curve. That second run was at the exact same wastegate spring pressure of 18 PSI. I cleaned up the map considerably, and you're starting to see that nice, bell curve uh, it's beautiful torque is being limited by the wastegate of course that's that's what a turbocharger does that's what it's meant to do so now it's finally time to kick up the boost we haven't messed with timing we have, i'm still about five percent rich let's just keep going let's see where we go fuck it we'll just go to 10 on all of it Went to 405. <laughs> wastegate did nothing. Yeah, the wastegate 10% didn't didn't change anything. Clean that up, nice. Yeah, that, that little that little nub is where the wastegate's at. I, I gave it 10% duty cycle. It didn't change any boost. It's the same 18 psi. You see, the only stumble in the graph isn't a stumble. It's the wastegate starting to open. Okay, I'm gonna go to 20. Wastegate. boost went nuts. Hey, I was just telling Elliot, he just said 10% doesn't really change much. Okay, 22 does. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it just go uh, up and it went straight up. I'm like, um, look at that. It went straight up and so. Jeez, what did it hit? 25, 5,000, it goes nuts. I let off, but I don't think I was the one that stopped it. I have uh, engine protection. Boost, yeah, set at 19. It's starting to cut power anyway. So I was doing everything right. Whoa, 
Look at that. Oh, she was ready to make some. Oh, Ooh, Max Torque 396. Wow. We just beat the, on that half run, we just beat the Corvette. <laughs> no way. <laughs> it's a, that's a, a Corvette number. It's 350, Max Torque 396. <laughs> Fuck yeah. We're gonna take down that a little bit and then run it again and get it just a safe pull. <laughs> It keeps kicking into the safety. 20 is too high. 10 is way too low, 20 is way too high. You know, let's do 15. Yeah, she definitely hit, uh, I saw cuts going. I pulled out of it again and we still made more power than expected. I have the boost control set to limit me, prevent me from doing what I wanna do. We hit 29 PSI and my controller, my safe, my safety set for 27, so you hear it breaking up as it's trying to stop itself. But we made 400 and what, 30 foot pounds of torque, 460 horsepower, and we only got to whatever, 58, 6,000 RPMs. We want to make a good clean pass, and then we know what our baseline is for boost equals what. Now we're at what, 16% uh, wastegate? Okay, that should have been 21 PSI. It really neutered it. So I went from 20 wastegate to 17 and it dropped that much. Three is seven PSI, that's, yeah, that, that four port is really. You guys are seeing here 21 PSI, 400, 411 horsepower. Can you give me that okay. iconic from the laptop looking at that? Okay, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So we are setting it from 16 to 18 duty cycle. Okay, that was uh, 24 and a half. 24, so we gained, yeah, we're in a nice clean stable. At 24 pounds of boost, we have the, the Corvette, hands down. Horsepower and torque, it's done. We're turning up the boost. We're gonna make sure that over boost is set to 29 PSI. Hell yeah. Nice and consistent, super rich. I'll clean that up next. It liked it so much it went harder. These are all 0.04%, you know, we're, we're talking error of nothing. It, look at it, went, it went even higher. This got way smoother right here. It's yeah. a slight drop off right there, but yep. this is higher. How? Oh, okay, I mean, it is up by, by two. I didn't change that at all. Huh. I mean, we, we gained it all the way down here. Unless maybe heat soak from sitting, I don't know. These two are the exact same wastegate levels, just cleaning up the fuel made a big difference in horsepower and torque all the way through. This is the first time I'm gonna touch, and probably one of the few times I'm ever gonna touch ignition. So I feel safe with those numbers. Three uh, degrees timing up to five degrees timing. Okay. So it's really subtle. I don't, th I pressed it, but I don't think it worked. I, pre I, I pressed it and then I looked down and it was off. At this point, I added more timing. So I went from about five degrees peak timing, which is really, really conservative to 10 degrees. The only problem is boost dropped. So it looks like we made less power, which is technically true. We made 13 horsepower less at one PSI less, more than one PSI, almost 1.5 PSI. Just showing you guys the real issues of trying things. We're gonna go ahead and cool down the intercooler a little bit and then add two more PSI. That'll put us at about 28. We'll see where we go there, and then hopefully go for one more round of two more PSI and see where we land. Five oh one. Five oh one. Five oh nine. Five oh nine. Yeah. There you go. 
450 torque? Yes. That felt that was a nice and clean. And look at it, it's only 27 yeah. psi. Wow. Nice. It sounded really good. It sounded perfect. 500 horsepower on my own tune. See how air temps did. But then they still climbed like crazy. Let's give them the old razzle dazzle at 25. So we'll let it go to 32 psi. Five thirty-eight, four eighty-one. Thirty psi. Five thirty-eight, thirty psi. About five percent fuel pulled out of that top end. Five okay. percent. So that's gonna make more power. I forgot to turn off the safety again. Boost cut, it was cutting. Torque is already Holy up there. Holy shit, yeah. torque at 500. Wow, 500 foot pounds of torque. She was not happy with that boost. No. I saw it hit 33 and I was like, fuck, I forgot. It, to turn it's it. not even reading on here. That, I'm, I'm really just really happy with that torque already. That, that's, that's nice. Yeah. That was really, really solid. 550 on the dot. 550, she was, uh, she hit boost uh, limit again. <laughs> it was flirting with it, yeah. That was the boost limit kicking in. Uh, so we got our goals exactly. 550 horsepower, 503 torque. So we're just gonna clean it up now, just cause I was you know, playing with it, but uh, we're still running really rich. As you can see, this relates to the amount of fuel that's going on there. But everything, look at these smooth lines. That is probably the greatest accomplishment out of all of this. 